Not nowhere, but anywhere but nowhere. But I digress. All right. Appreciate your input, brother. Y'all shout out to my main man, FLX, y'all. Shout out to the brother. Shout out to the brother. Uh, you know, this, this brother, this brother's a genius. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that you do be here, y'all. Shout out to the brother. FLX says, I've been away. I know y'all miss me. But listen, let the history never forget. The Bron kids had Jays on at his apex moment of notification for history. You know what, FLX, you are a hundred percent correct. And and you know, we should we need to take notice of history sometime. And that is one of those things that should be taken notice of. <laughs> that hey, hey, it's okay to be a phenomenal basketball player. It's okay to have an apex moment, but you know what? Kids need a little room sometimes. And if they understand that Mike is the greatest, hey, man, it's cool. But if you come into your daddy's ceremony, you ain't got to tell the rest of the world that you think Michael Jordan is the greatest. It's okay. I, I'm, a, I'm a big supporter of Michael Jordan, too. But I ain't wearing his shoes. <laughs> If my daddy went in the war and my daddy got his own shoes, I'm not wearing the brown shoes on that night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so uh, you know what? I think that was just a major slip on the, on their end. I don't know how that how that happened. You know, sh shout out to them young brothers who obviously think Michael Jordan is the great, because that's how I'm gonna interpret what they're doing. I'm choosing to interpret that as they believe Michael Jordan is the greatest, but yeah, they should have had their daddy's shoes on that night. <laughs> they definitely should have had their daddy's shoes on that night. But <laughs> Let's give it to the brother Hot Sauce. How you doing, brother? You call uh, I'm, uh, I'm good. Hold, hold on. I did I miss a video because what are you talking about? Even if she gave me the pussy for free, I wouldn't. Because I, I saw the one about whoa, 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 whoa. That I, that was not said. Even if she gave, I was saying if somebody gave, if she offered the pussy for free, people oh, would take God. it. If she offered a I said if she offered a relationship, people wouldn't necessarily take it. No, oh, well, I, you, I, you're I talking about the first one, right? Where she was like 100% use, 0% me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, her okay, okay, her okay, pussy okay. did retain some value. Yeah, we. I'm not going to front like ain't nobody going to hit it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Because yeah. to me, that's just a ridiculous concept. Her pussy did remake. Re her, her pussy retained value. But anyone seeing value in her, that's going to be a hard brother to come back. That's what I'm saying. But go ahead, okay. my brother. All right. Okay. I got it. I got it. Because I'm like, did I miss a video? Some shit? Okay. But now I'm, I'm on the same page. All right. So basically, I do want to say this. First of all, I got no smoke for the woman who fucked Drake to get on a record deal. If I had a pussy, I would do the same thing. So... Y'all can hit if y'all want to, but success is success by any means necessary. Shout out to Kamala Harris. <laughs> secondly, <laughs> secondly, we gonna start um, calling that the Harris way. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Harris way. I mean, look, man, look, I understand <laughs> she was engaged. <laughs> I understand all that, but man, you can't, you can't be mad, man. You can't be mad because at the end of the day. See, 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 guys, you know, at the end of the day, you got to understand something. A desperate young single woman who grew up poor is a dangerous woman to, to be in a relationship with. It's a very <laughs> dangerous relationship because at the end of the day, she's going to do she's going to do what she needs to do to get herself out of that situation. And like my granddaddy told me. A wet bottom never stay broke. Y'all can take that how y'all need to take that. But a wet bottom never stay broke. So, for her, I, I understand, man. I understand. But now, do women become valuable? Um, I don't... Okay, women definitely do not become valuable. Women are born valuable. You know, depending on if you grew up in a two-parent home, depending on how much, you know, how much money your father makes or what kind of family you come from. That's your value, Right how many, <clears throat> you know, 
like if you can have children or not. Like a woman who can't have children, even if she's perfectly healthy, obviously she's going to have less value than a woman who she's going to have less value than a woman who can have children, right? A woman who has less bodies is going to be more valuable than a woman who has more more bodies, right? A woman who comes from a successful home where her daddy made a lot of money, you know, she can ask you for, you know, those type of handbags because her daddy and her family gave it to her, right? She can ask for the big wedding because her father's going to pay for it, right? But if you were born to a custodian garden, city hall is to where you go. It just make it better for your children. And see, and that's, that's the thing, right? See, women get, need to understand something about adulting. Make it better for your children, right? I didn't grow up in the greatest of circumstances, but you know what? I'm going to make it better for my children. And women just need to get off this selfish train and be like, you know what? You know, my mom, all she can do is a city wedding, but you know what? My daughter's going to have a better wedding than me. And just move it forward. So do women become valuable? Absolutely not. Are women born valuable? Yes, they are. And if and if she's pure, pure then of course she's going to have value because she can give you clean kids. But at the end of the day, what I saw on these on these different shows and these clips, pretty much all you're seeing is women coming off the cock carousel. That's all you saw, except the last one. Last one made sense, right? Because now she's a she's a she she's she's on, you know, she got her own music, she got her own music videos. The last one made sense, but the other three, it's just women who just been ran through too much that now their brain is just scrambled. And I passed the mic on that. Well, I mean, the third one. I put in the, the woman who was married since the age of 16. So, oh, Yo, sorry, think- sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, because I was thinking about when he was like, um, when they were asking, like, they've been engaged for like five years or some shit. Right. Oh, that woman in the audience? Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's yeah, on her. Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. right. And so, yeah, because that- even, even the old woman was like, don't put us in that bullshit. We stay, we live longer because we're happy. You bringing bullshit to our place. So, <laughs> Man, hey, shout out to the old couple, man. Shout out to the old couple, man. That's you know, that's a dream. Now that's success. From 19 to 103, stayed married, or for her for 16 to 100. That is fucking success. Yeah. Now I am gonna say, uh I saw they call that long. We are yeah. we we at the very yeah, we at the very opposite end of the spectrum. Because my whole point is women don't have no value just because they're born. They only get value based on how they, what their actions are when they're growing up. They, um, well, I ain't gonna say only because, yeah, who your, what family you belong to could increase your value to some. But the thing is, their vagina has value. When, when you, when you growing up as a child, yeah, your vagina got value. That's, that's really where women's quote unquote value come from. So I think we're doing, we're teaching them absolutely wrong, and we teaching boys things absolutely wrong and it so, needs to be expressed in a separate way no your vagina has some value what you do as a woman would determine if you have value because you no know, everybody understands a man has to work to be valued well you got right. work to do too to be valuable your your vagina sure your vagina is worth some value any random woman can go out to the street and sell her vagina for some type of price now i don't know how much you're gonna get for it you may get 20 you may get 40 you might get 100 who knows You'll be able to sell that pussy for something, but you as a woman, you don't actually have any value until you start doing things that men perceive mm. as valuable. No, Roger, I, so have I, to dis- I have to disagree because, for example, if she was in, if she was, if she was, if she was born in a single parent home, she, I, I don't, I don't care what nobody says. You, 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 you're, you're, you're rolling Russian roulette with that. I would never marry a woman who was never raised by her father because she doesn't know how to be a wife. She hasn't seen it. So she's not that valuable. Uh, I wouldn't, that's rolling, that's rolling like Russian roulette right there. No way, no way would I do that. But but you're saying she's not that valuable and she doesn't have enough value for you. And and I'm not going to even argue that. But the thing is, she's going to have some kind of value depending upon what she do. Because if she come from a single mother home and she just out here in the streets, Especially as a youngster, 
then she don't really have no value to me. And I, only her pussy really has value. Now, if she's come from a single mother home and she don't pay no attention to what her, her what her mom is trying to raise her ass, you know what I'm saying? If she's that exception to the rule and she saw her mom as trash and did everything she could to not be like her mama, she's gonna have some level of value. She, you know what I'm saying? If she if she retains her virginity, right? You know what I'm saying? If she does well in school, if she's one of those women. I'm going to go to college out of state just so I can get away from her mom. Now, see, she's going to have some level of value, but it's her choices that make a woman valuable. And but that's you, what I'm saying. You can't. You well, can't no, all, all, I'm, all I'm saying is a woman's choices make her valuable. It's not the fact that she's a woman. Being a woman, only your pussy has value because we no, don't I mean, care nothing about you if your pussy is attached to a negative person. We still want some pussy. We may have some sex with you, even if we don't like you as a person. So yeah, your pussy will have some level of value. But you as a woman, no, you got to work to get value. No, Go but I, 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 I hear you on that. Yes, like your decisions do matter and how you are an adult. No, nope, I'm not going to disagree with that. Nobody's disagreeing that. However, how you was raised dictates how you, how you move in life, right? It dictates like your foundation matters, right? Your personality, it thinks set in at the age of 12 and at the and like yes can she be a good wife even if she wasn't raised that way it is possible but not probable and you're rolling you know you're playing russian roulette with that like i mean i'm just sorry at the end no, no, of no. the day i'm i'm not with, arguing i'm not arguing yeah, yeah, I, I, get your point. I get your point i get your point but my 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 okay. point is saying, my point is saying that um a lot of decisions and a lot of things that we are have already been made by the age of 15, 12, 15. We are who we are by that. And that's what I'm saying. Okay. And, and, and see, my thing is upbringing. My thing is, I don't, I, what I'm saying doesn't necessarily disagree with what you're saying as far as that is concerned. But everything's going to come down to the type of choices that this, this woman make. Now, shout out to Waskin and Man Cave. He said her beauty uh, is, is in a value. And yes, being beautiful can help you increase your value. But the thing is, a woman, what what a man perceives about a woman and her reputation, we're going to start assigning her value, period. And there's nothing women can do about this. Now, if she's beautiful, will she get more, more value assigned to her? Yes. But it doesn't mean even if we started assigning more value to her just because we saw her as beautiful, that that value can even be retained for more than a moment. Because you might see a woman who may look absolutely gorgeous to you, and the moment you see her, she may be doing something so extremely stupid, you'll never want to be around. So the concept of women are valuable just because they are women, to me, is a very silly concept. They, the only value they have from being a woman to a straight man, we can get some pussy from. They pussy get value. They don't have it. That value has to be earned. I told you. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Well, I'm just saying it could have it been earned based on how she grew up because now she could start telling me about her life and I may like what she had to say. She may say, I was raised to do this and I do this and I, I dress this way and all. Yeah, so she can earn value if she tells me stuff about what she's done in the past, but she's earning that value based on how I'm accepting what she's saying. But her being a woman does not make her value. Now, do she want to sell me some pussy? Well, if I want to give her $30 for some pussy, okay, that's different. But that don't make her value. That just means she has something on her that's valuable, which would be her pussy at the end of the day. And I think women need to understand this concept. I think men need to understand this concept. So when we're expressing what's valuable to a person, they get it because women are hearing this thing about how they're valuable because they're women when they're not, which is one of the reasons the first video was a young lady about somewhere to 20 to 22, I'm guessing. That's well, yeah, everything I you need to have a wife, supposedly. But why would I wife her? She has no value to me. Her, I'll have a sex with her, sure. But she ain't got no value to me as a woman. Before you can take it real deal, let, let me read the super chat, and then you got it, brother. Uh, <clears throat> be about peace and pleasure. Uh, thank you for the super chat, my brother. He says, <clears throat> what makes a woman valuable is, is her being happy, making me happy. Is she and everyone else happy if you try to make her happy? And, and be about peace and pleasure, that's a very good point. See, 
he's going to see her value based on what she's doing to make him happy. So the fact that she's just a woman alone, don't cut the mustard. And this is something that a lot of women believe. And a lot of guys are even saying, which is 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 uh, destroying the beliefs of what some women have. And it's sending, sending them in a lot of wrong directions. But go ahead, real deal. You, you got the flow. Um, I was gonna say, man, that was that was beautifully put, man. Um, I think there's something a lot of guys subconsciously know, but um, we live in America, so it's 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 hard to just kind of say out loud. I think even the gentlemen that got together with the women and said the women have value. I honestly believe deep in their heart, uh, they was really just talking about the vagina, but they're very dishonest men, just kind of like the nice guy. He's a very dishonest gentleman who's thinking about vagina. But he's uh, portraying a certain image just to get to their vagina because some of these women have horrible dispositions, horrible attitudes and stuff like that. So I, you, you got to look at it. You, I sat back and I watched one day. I said, well, what will make a man still stay around a woman with a horrible disposition, horrible attitude just because she looked beautiful? Ah, the thought of getting some sex, the hope of getting some sex. Or maybe he's gotten it and hope to get it again. Because if you take her vagina off of her body and her butt off of her body, you can't nothing you can penetrate on her. That dude, those dudes are talking about value, all that stuff with them women. They wouldn't even be around them. They know it's a sex thing because a good example of this is when we were all kids growing up. You remember how the boys only want to play with the boys and the girls kind of only want to play with the girls. The only time you stop to notice the girls is when you was getting older and your hormones started to kick in. They butt started to fill out a little bit more. They started to develop breasts and maybe you learned about sex and stuff like that. So now you want to try to figure out a way to communicate with them. But she was trying to figure out a way to communicate with them because you was going through that hormonal stage as a young boy and you have no sexual thoughts that you want to actually experience or something like that. So it's always kind of been about the sex. And also, like, I want to add to that what makes a woman valuable it's not just about the sex because a prostitute can give up sex a whore or a random woman could just sleep with anybody she's naturally attracted to. It's about how she care herself. What is she willing to add outside of sex to a friendship, to a relationship, to anything? What else do you bring outside of the way you look and the ability to arouse a guy and the ability to bend over? What else do you offer? Because let's say if it's a guy who easily has access to get multiple women to bend over easily. Now that guy is going to look for something else. He's like, well, I get this easily. I'm not like the struggling dudes. I get this easily. So now what he's going to look for, okay, what do you do that stand out? Like when LeBron married his wife, he had to pick her based off of, I'm sure, what stood out. Not sex because him on his way to the NBA, I'm sure he had multiple women throwing sex. He had multiple opportunities with sex. So if it's just about sex, you'll be all day trying to figure something out and you'll be confused because a lot of them is throwing that at you. But what, what's not what's going to be different is this. A lot of women, a lot of females, well, I'm going to just say a lot of females ain't even women in my opinion, some other reason too either. But a lot of females, they don't have a good quality about themselves. They probably don't have a good upbringing. They not, they, they not like a ride or die. They don't have your back. They don't know how to nurture. They're not going to get in the kitchen for you. They, not, they don't know what to say the right thing to say at the right time. A lot of them, yeah, they know how to bend over and stuff like that. They come naturally for them, but everybody don't have those womanly qualities. And the, the few in the world that got those womanly qualities, those are the ones, when I walk out in the world and I'm flirting with women, I don't know if you ever met a woman, even though you didn't quite know her and she'd be like, I'm married. You can kind of feel her spirit and tell like, well, I could see somebody marrying you because your demeanor, even though I don't know you, just the way you carry yourself, your dress clothes and your demeanor just says feminine, you know, woman, you just, it just has this womanly characteristic about itself. And then you probably run across a chick that you can know, like, bitch, ain't nobody married. Do you just ain't trying to give a nigga no ass and ain't nobody looking at you trying to date you. I'm talking to you because I just really want to fuck. You know what I'm saying? It just, we all get a vibe about an individual. Every female carry themselves differently. They bring something different to the table. Like you said, that does not add value. Sex only makes a man ski and only makes a woman come after you do that right there. If she don't have nothing else great about her, in your opinion, you're not going to, you're correct. You're not going to want to be talking to her on the phone. You're not really going to want to even hang around or have nothing else too much to do because why? Wow, you don't reach your climax and your mission is accomplished until the next time you get an arousal. And then, you know, you may come back to her. That's if you don't have other options at that point in time to get your satisfaction off. So it just is. So women need to learn the difference between, which I think they know, they just play dumb, but they're not dumb. They just need to kind of understand the difference between 
somebody after you for that sexual gratification at that moment and whether you're actually valuable at that moment. And that's where a lot of them over here in America, they feel that they're not, they talk about the women in these other countries, but at least even, I, I even hear this now, I say even the women that are supposed to be 304s in these other countries, they even care themselves more womanly like and a little bit more respect when they bring a little bit more to the table than these women over here in America that's supposed to not be 304s or our 304s. You know what I'm saying in comparison to stuff like that. So at the end of the day, man, a man's going to deal with a woman based off not only what she's able to present, how she's able to have his back, and how she's able to be of comfort to that man and assistance in certain situations. Like I said, sex matters, but if it's a, unless it's a foolish man, when we think a long term and we, we want somebody to bear our kids or something like that, man, ain't nobody trying to get no 304 for that unless you, like I said, unless you're a foolish dude or, or maybe you're a hood rat dude that, you know, you're a hood rat yourself. You're supposed to be with a hood rat shit. But outside of that, real men with real things going on, no, nah, man, nobody want to, you know, we just get some vagina and call it a day. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Well, I'm all right. Tell you, I'm, I'm gonna give you some advice. You better stay away from that real man term. <laughs> you know, you better learn a different way to express yourself other than that. That is not a smart term to use at all. Okay, but we'll deal with that later on. Uh, shout out to the human chapter. He says it varies from man to man. If a woman has, oh, excuse me, if a man has a, a thousand thousand women, that man will value women different differently than a man who doesn't have have a woman. Um, also, shout out to FLX. He says, uh, for the Steve Harvey video, it's equivalent to a man saying two plus two equals four. And she literally said, my two plus two equals fish. <laughs> uh, Sway would not have the answers. <laughs> okay, even Sway ain't got the answers, y'all. Yeah, that's hard right there when Sway ain't got the answers. Now, uh, shout, out, shout out to Inspire One. Inspire One says, this is what makes a woman valuable, integrity, honest, honesty, trust, respect, loyalty, character, understanding, patience, humility, and gratitude. If a woman embodies these qualities, marry her immediately, okay? Not a bad list, not a bad list at all. And, and thank you to the darling of the channel, Toya. Appreciate you, sister. Appreciate you, sister. And she says, Roger, may I ask the viewers to hit the like button while they're here? It's the best show on social media and the least you can do and the least you can do y'all. And you know what? Toya has a great point. So yeah, she's asking y'all to hit the like button. I'm a join in her and say, y'all hit the like button. Okay. I'm asking you to hit the like button. Cause y'all really do be cheating me out of these likes y'all. Y'all really be cheating me out of these likes. So y'all hit the like button. All right. Now I'm, I'm going to say this, uh, y'all, we, as men, we're going to assign value to women. And that's something women need to understand. We assign value to them. And why do we assign the value? For whatever our reasons are that we assign that value on. But there is no value simply because you're a woman. Because there are women who we see zero value in. Your pussy may have some value. We might give you 10, 20 bucks for your pussy. <laughs> you know, you might get 40. I told y'all before, some prostitute. That I ran into in downtown Chicago. I had no idea she was a prostitute. She said she was selling hugs for a hundred. Maybe she get. I mean, well, I'm sure she probably got that hundred dollars plenty of times. She was in downtown Chicago. People got money down there. But the thing is, she, she was she was downtown and she only wanted a hundred. <laughs> hey, That's why well, rent district. She should be demanding more than that. What, what year was well, it? Well, this, <laughs> this, I'm just saying this is a long time ago now. Because okay, I didn't even thinking. know she was. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know she was a prostitute. I was trying to holler at her because she looked that good. You know what I'm saying? But when she got in, that's mm -hmm. what she told me. You know what I'm saying? When she got in the car, that's what she told me. I said, no, nah, we're going to have to part ways, sister. I can't give you no $100. You know what I'm saying? You, you look nice, but I can't give you $100. <laughs> that ain't where I met with it. Now, and, now, but now I'm a, saying, certain type, a certain type of guy would have turned that into a pimping opportunity. But we can talk about that maybe offline. <laughs> uh, and i'm gonna say i'm gonna say see we as men we do value different things i'm that i'm never gonna argue that but the thing is the woman ain't valuable because she a woman she only her pussy is valuable because she's a woman to in order for a man to perceive you as valuable it's gonna be about what you've been doing with your life 
What work have you been putting up, putting in to gain value to a man? And that's why I put these different videos in here. Even the last video that Hot Sauce cheered the lady on, well, that man did see some value in her. And I did a show about that while back. I don't know if we still got that show. I think we lost that show because I lost a few channels. But I did do a show on that particular woman. Yeah, she was with that man for eight years, and he was planning, to, you know what I'm saying, him and her were planning a wedding or something like that. Everything was supposed to be good. But when Drake came through, she went from wife to him, which, you know, I guess you that'd be the 100 level of value, and she went down to zero. Because now I understand this woman will not be loyal to me, period. And if she about to have sex with Drake and she just now getting signed, ain't no telling what she going to do what, once she signed and started getting around other guys who are in that field, other rappers and singers dude, and things dude. like that, people she may well, have had a crush I mean, on already. She, we, you she, know he she sent put, his woman, he went, he sent his woman to Silk to negotiate with Drake. He gave that woman up the moment yep, he did that. Yep, 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 yep. Well, well, he line. didn't know it at that time, but he did figure that out. So I knew that. Jay, 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 Jay's on, reputation is legendary. Hold on, we got to establish something. <laughs> People in the chat, when you are dating a single, fertile woman who is broke, you are dating at your own risk. Because a broke bitch with a working pussy is a dangerous thing to be around. <laughs> well, I, I I mean, I understand where you're coming from, Hot Sauce, but I'm just saying, y'all, that man did have a value to her. So I guess if you can go from 0% to 100%, 100% being the wife, you know what I'm saying? He he saw her, we could say at least in the 90%, because they, they were actually planning a wedding. So he this was the woman he was about to marry. And then she yeah. instantly went to zero because she went off and had sex with Drake. Now he didn't, he couldn't necessarily prove it or whatever the case is, but his stance was she, she uh had sex with that man. Cause I went out there and met with him too, but I got sent home. She stayed. She, obviously she had sex with the dude. So I'm out the relationship. Now that's what he, he put some message like something like that up in the tweet that got deleted. But I understand where you're coming from. Well, if you send me home and she going to stay, I know what time it is. Not that it's just Drake. My thing is anybody who's made it in the industry like that and you still a regular dude. Yeah, she off. There was really no reason to go with her. Honestly, he should have just Again, had sex with her a few more times and sent on. That was another pimping. That was a pimping opportunity. Right? No. Uh, okay, no. you you doing Drake. Well, first of all, let's 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 like talk real for a second. Because from you know, what before, I understand, before, they had some before, let me get let me get these super chats in real quick and then have at it. Uh, shout out to Educator Ados. He says the market determines value. Men are the market. That that's the brother thinking right there. And uh, FLX says no woman gets a music deal without giving out the box. <laughs> Shouts out to Irv Guy. Not not, not, not any <laughs> of them. Not any of them. Not any of them. And he said I, I just took a chick. I just took a chick from a dude. Hashtag just my turn. Hashtag do not save. And I think FLX is definitely being smart because if he can take Look, the if, woman. If their daddy, the this I do know, like professionally, like real talk. If their daddy ain't a music executive himself and he got, a, you know, like a, a crony entry. And, I mean, you can say the same thing about like acting, you know, Hollywood as well. If they don't have that sort of entry into that business, oh, they fuck him. They fuck. Look, they fucked uh, the security guy just to be able to get into the building to talk to Drake. Mm. I promise you, they did. They mm. they fucked a line of dudes. They fucked the security guy. Then they fucked the assistant manager. Then they fucked the best friend. They fucked about a half a dozen guys just to even get to Drake or Tupac or any of them guys. Mm. That's how that business works. Yep, and so when you send your woman off to Drake to do a, a deal, you once she accepted doing that deal with Drake, at that point, I got to accept we got a different kind of relationship at that point. Yep. Real talk. Well, Real I, talk. Mean, I, I got to accept that. Yeah. 
but honestly, see, this is the thing. Y'all mad.